Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, April 13th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. American Express Global Business Travel, like other major corporate travel agencies, is still struggling to hit pre-pandemic metrics. But as it plans to go public later this year, the company is assuring investors that business travel will return to normal in the next two years, writes corporate travel editor Matthew Parsons. Amex GBT CEO Paul Abbott told investors at the New York Stock Exchange on Tuesday that its bookings for corporate clients only recovered to 61% of pre-pandemic figures in the week up to April 2nd. But the company now predicts global business travel spend will hit between 90 and 100% of 2019 levels by next year, citing information from credit rating agency Fitch Ratings and the U.S. Travel Association. Next, tourism in Europe is set for an enormous surge as a new survey revealed that Europeans are planning to travel at a record rate this summer. Still, amidst European authorities' efforts to limit transportation emissions, travelers are also expressing an increased preference for flying, writes global tourism reporter Lebowit Lili Girma. The European Travel Commission's monthly survey of consumers in 10 major markets on the continent found 77% of Europeans are planning to travel this spring or summer. That's a 10 percentage point jump from last year. More than half of respondents plan to visit another European country, while 30% are planning to travel domestically. But demand for air travel among European consumers has also gone up by 7 percentage points since last December, while interest in traveling by train and bus has dropped to a record low since August 2020. Faced with the prospect of a rise in European tourism transportation emissions, Girma writes the Commission's report includes steps destinations can take to mitigate any negative environmental impacts caused by increased visitation. Finally, smaller hotel brands like Selena have historically been unable to launch co-branded credit cards because large banks have rarely worked with such companies. But senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill reports that financial technology startups are giving hotel brands like Selena a boost in their efforts to launch rewards cards. Selena, a brand with more than 130 premium hotels and hotels that cater to customers in their 20s and 30s, is testing out its Selena Visa card, which is being developed with assistance from fintech startup and neobank Imprint. Imprint's co-founder and CEO Dara Murphy said companies like his can help travel brands launch financial services products in under a month. And as Murphy believes that big banks traditionally don't build the greatest consumer-facing technology, O'Neill writes it's plausible that a wave of fintech companies could challenge incumbent banks when it comes to creating travel rewards cards. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Spoken Layer Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.